Everybody, something very special is just about to happen in libraries all around the country, and it is a bit silly and a bit funny. And it is Silly Squad! Yay! It is this year's summer reading challenge. Isn't that epic? How exciting! And I thought, since it was so silly, I should start off by introducing everything upside down. Ooh, that's a bit odd, isn't it? I don't know how I feel about this. I can't read anything upside down and my head is all feeling a bit funny. Well, I think I've had enough upside down time. Let's turn the other way up. Oh, that was enough after upside down time. If you like standing on your head, you'll have to tell me. But did you find your head went a bit funny from all the blood rushing to your head? Be a little bit careful if you stand on your head, won't you? Let's meet some of the awesome characters from this year's Summer Reading Challenge. We have Izzy the Octopus. Hooray! Snook the Penguin. Yay! Bamboozle the Panda. Woo! Lily the Frog. Mary the Giraffe. Mo the Platypus. Ooh, and Brian the Pony. He's so awesome and multicoloured, but he's looking a bit serious. I wonder what kind of character he's going to be. Oh, and then there's also Norman the Pigeon. Hooray! Fabulous. So let's head over to the Summer Reading Challenge website to find out how it works. Type in www.sillysquad.org.uk So, what are you going to do on this website? The first thing you're going to do is you are going to join the Silly Squad by making your own account on the website. And as part of that, you're going to choose a username and an avatar, which is just another name for the picture that's going to represent you while you are on this website. Then you're going to join in by choosing some books to read. And we're going to talk a little bit more about the books you could read later on in this video. Then you'll also find games and challenges and activities to do on the website. And the last thing is that you're going to unlock badges as you take part in the challenge. Now, that's another thing that's going to be a little bit different this year. Normally, we challenge all children to read six books. And that is a really good challenge if you're not sure what else to do. But sometimes that's a bit of a difficult challenge for you. Maybe you are trying to read the fourth Harry Potter book and that's quite hard for you. And it might take you the whole summer just to read one book. On the other hand, maybe you're really a speedy reader and you would like to challenge yourself to read more than six books. On the website, you can make your own challenges up and you can work out how many books you want to read across the summer between one and I don't know, maybe a hundred. I think that might be a little bit too hard, but you get to choose. It's up to you. So the first thing the website is going to ask you to do is to put in a date of birth. Now, that date of birth should be for the child who is participating parents. It should not be the date of birth of the parent or carer or guardian. OK. The next thing it's going to ask you for is a parent or guardian or carer's email. I know some of you children have your own email addresses, but please can you use a parent or guardian or carer's email and not yours? And that's to make things extra safe. All right. Awesome. Then you're going to need to choose a username, which we talked about just a moment ago. For this username, I would suggest you choose something fun and silly, a bit like the characters that we've just met. If you want to choose to use your own name, I would strongly suggest that you just use your own first name and then something else. All right. And when you choose your password, which is the next bit, 
Make sure it's something that people can't guess too easily. And make sure that it's something that you will remember. Okay? Awesome. The next bit of information that you're going to give is the last bit of information about you, which is your first and last name. Nobody is going to see that information except inside that website, the organisers and administrators. No one else using the website will see your name. OK, awesome. So then you submit it. Once you've signed up, your parent or carer will receive an email that shows that you have signed up. They will then need to click on the link at the bottom of their email to confirm that they are OK for you to sign up. After that, they will need to create a parent account and go through the same registration setup as you did. This will include adding their date of birth and creating a username and password. Once they have registered, your account will be confirmed and you will be able to log in and explore. So what are you going to read this summer? As you know, right at the moment, no libraries are open. You might still have some library books at home and you can definitely read those as part of the challenge. This year, however, we are also encouraging you to read books that you already own in your house. And that could include magazines and comic books. But what else could you read? Well, you could also read e-books and e-audio books. And if you don't have any money to buy any e-audio books or e-books, you can get free e-books through Sour Libraries and a special app called BorrowBox. And there are some awesome funny books that you could read there. You could also find free comic books and magazines on RB Digital, which is another app and website that you can get through Slough Libraries. So what's left for me to say? Well, go out there, read some books, sign up to the challenge and get involved. We're looking forward to seeing how you participate in the challenge. We are going to also set some challenges for you online. Maybe you'll be sending us your book reviews or telling us all about how far you've got in the challenge. Look out for more information on our website and our social media. And we're looking forward to seeing how you participate this year. Thank you. Bye bye.